Hello, right, where do I start? I finally decided to do it. I am uh, I'm moving into my van full time from the 16th of December this year. I know, a bit crazy, but what I've decided to do is uh, I move into the van. When I say move in, I'm chucking everything into it and I go on holiday from the 18th, so I'm not around, so I'm not living in there over Christmas, which is which is a bit of a touch. So, what I'm doing, I'm off to Benidorm until the 8th of January. When I come back on the 8th of January, I have until the 1st of February off work to actually build the van. Yep, that's right, the van's not even built, um, which quite possibly is a bit strange, a bit weird, I guess, from other people, but... I've had the van since January last year and uh, January this year I should say and uh, to be fair I've done nothing I've uh, insulated a little bit and I've built a bed frame so that's good with working now now this is the problem with working full time you know what they do you work full time I work you know all day I get home and the last thing I want to do is get motivated and go out and actually start on the van And that's what's happened. I've used it a couple of times. I've been away twice in the van, a week at a time. Um, I'm not sure if that is level, actually. Oh, that might be. Okay, let's try again. So, we shall see. Now, Now, why now? As I said, work has um, annoyed me, so um, this is the ideal time to actually move in and actually get myself motivated. Now, I'm determined to do a year. Now, whether this is going to be good or whether it's going to be bad, I'm determined to stay in the van for a whole year. Whether it be good, whether I'm in the corner crying my little eyes out, like the big bus I am, I do not know. So, um, if you're interested in this kind of lifestyle, um, you want to follow me, follow me for the whole year because I'll be vlogging as much as I can to let you know how this goes. Now, I'm in the UK, so January, February weather is not going to be the best, especially in the van that's not actually built. So that's going to cause a lot of issues. Um, the only good thing I've got, I guess, is um, I'm going to be building it on my parents' driveway while they're at work. So I've got use of electrics. If it rains, you know, I can sleep on their floor for a couple of days. It, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And as I'm still working, if it does get that bad, I can just pop into a hotel for a day and have an actual rest. So... It's possibly because, yeah, I've been reading up and I've not been happy, not been happy at the moment. Um, I seem to be just going into a mundane, mundane life. Now, I come home pretty much probably like most of you. And I sit there and I watch YouTube videos of people living the dream. Going out, doing all this stuff, um, jumping off cliffs. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to do that, but, you know, jumping off cliffs, going out on adventures, cycling tours. You know, I follow everyone and I sit there and think... Why? I'd love to do that sort of stuff. So, what I've decided is I'll move into the van, I'll save a little bit of money with working, and then um, why not travel the world? Now, I'm a 42 year old guy. Time is ticking away, you know. I've had my days of going to the pub every day, which I did for years, um, just working, living paycheck to paycheck. And I've kind of had enough of that now. Um, I'm not getting any younger, maybe it is a midlife crisis, and I've decided now there's got to be more to life, especially more to life with work. So, my future plans, I'm going to continue to work full time, so I'll still have an income coming in, So, which means I've only got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to find places to park so I can keep working. Fridays, I finish at 12 o'clock, so I can uh, go off then, and every weekend I intend to travel. Whereas at the moment, I finish work on a Friday, I come home and I'll take an afternoon nap. I wake up about five or six and I sit there and just watch stuff on the laptop. Now, this is not good. So, hopefully go away. There's a lot to see from where I live and down, the Somerset, down in Somerset Way. So, there's a lot of beautiful beaches around here. So, this is my plan there. Now... The plans for the channel. I'm not really sure on this. Uh, I'm going to give this a go. This is just a quick introduction, a couple of minutes, 
just to see, you know, anyone that's a UK van dweller, anyone that's thinking of doing this, uh, maybe I can help. When I'm building it in January, uh, I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. Now, the problem I have is I don't think I would be any use to anyone doing um, how-to videos. I have no building experience whatsoever. I have no electric experience. Everything I do, I will be looking on YouTube. Now, there's hundreds and hundreds of these videos on there. I know that because I've sat there and watched hours and hours of it. So I know they're all on there. So me doing more of that, I'll show, show pictures of what I've done each day. Now, um, the vlogging wise, now I don't know how much I can do. I know for the first month I'm outside my parents, so using Wi-Fi is not going to be a problem. After that, I'm hoping to make videos as much as I can. To start with, maybe two, maybe three videos a week of how I'm doing, how I live, where I'm parking, or not where I'm parking, I just don't give those away, but how I've parked each night. Um, and that's about it really on that. And as I said, my plan, I'm gonna live in this van for a year. Now, solidly for a whole year. Now, I don't know how this is gonna, gonna work. Next year, I'm hoping to take the van and go down to Spain and have a little bit of summer down there. So, I don't want to keep this little short, very, very sweet, and just, uh, you know, if you want it, if you're interested anymore, subscribe to me for the time being, and then um, follow, follow my progression. In the next video, which I should do next week, it's Sunday now, so maybe Monday or Tuesday I should do another video, maybe... I'll show you what I've done so far. Now, it's not a lot. I have put some floor down, I've made a bed, and I've insulated maybe a tiny little bit. So, it's pretty much a shell. Um, the van I'm working with is a Vauxhall Nirvana high top. So, I can stand up in it, I've got a little bit of space. Um, the main things I'll be focusing on is keeping it warm, so insulated, and a bed nice comfy bed, so I'll have a comfy mattress on there, nice memory foam mattress. I feel, you know, at my age, I've tried sleeping on the floor a couple of times, it doesn't work, I just don't like it. Uh, I wake up achy and, uh, yeah, it doesn't help for me. So, a nice comfy bed and heating. I'm not having no telly in the van, I'm not having no full electrics to start with, um, I don't want the fridge, I don't want the cooker, I don't want plumbing, I don't want showers, I don't want... Now, I'll explain more into this as to why as we keep going. Now, I know that there's people out there and their main thing is they need to have a shower, you need to have a fridge, you need to have this. Now, at the moment, I don't use the fridge that much from where I live. I live day to day. So nothing's really going to change on that. Um, and then for the next couple of months, it's absolutely, I think it's going to be freezing in the UK anyway. So anything I do use is just going to be cold. But then, um, you know, we shall see. Uh, we shall see how this goes. Um, I'm going to pretty much wrap this up now. But um, if you want to know more, or anything you want to know, anything you want to ask, anything you want me to put in the video, anything, you know, because I absolutely have no idea whatsoever. I, I say, I don't even know if this is going to work. But <laughs> it's going to be it's gonna be a fun time. Now, even subscribe if you want to see a grown 40-year-old man crying in the corner when he can't do this, especially building-wise. So, um, yeah, um, subscribe and comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks very much. Goodbye.